When we talk about luxury, we often think of mansions with infinity pools and high ceilings, Maserati and Lamborghinis, helicopters and limousines, and that's totally understandable. After all, it's not every day we ride in choppers and private jets or live in 10-acre homes. But if there's one thing we just can't seem to understand in the world of the rich and famous is high-end brands. In fact, the world's most expensive wardrobe comes in at a whopping $6.6 .6 million, a price tag that will make even the top 1% feel poor. To put things in perspective, $6.6 .6 million is enough to feed 90,000 starving children in Africa for an entire year. We get it, you're rich and can afford the most expensive stuff, but why would anyone spend $4.2 million on cufflinks? Is it because it is designed by Jacob & Co? What's up one wears? In this video, we're to talk about why high-end brands are so expensive. Let's take a closer look into all of the things that make luxury brands different from everyday clothing. We bet the rich don't even realize some of these. Time is gold. One of the reasons designer clothes are so expensive is because when you buy designer clothes, you're not only paying for the item, but you're paying for the time and energy that goes into creating that item. Luxury designers such as Albert El Baz spend months slaving over the design of one dress, trying to perfect the design. The difference in designer clothes is that these clothes are more than just clothes, they are art. When you look at the price tag on a luxury brand item, you have to consider what went into this piece from the start. If it's just a designer t-shirt, you may be paying for the time and energy spent on the brand as a whole. Luxury is quality. When we say luxury, we'd surely expect for quality, right? Fashion's most storied brands built their companies on the best materials and the most skilled craftspeople, then charged customers a premium for both. Unlike typical store brands, luxury brands raise prices due to using much better materials for their clothing. These top quality materials cost a lot more money, so of course, the clothing's going to have a higher price tag. This isn't necessarily a bad thing though, because when you buy designer clothing that looks like you spend big bucks, your clothing is going to last a lot longer. Product licensing. Of course, the cost of products manufactured in China is drastically cheaper than those in Italy. This is pretty much the case in the high fashion industry. Most clothes are manufactured closer to home, as opposed to being shipped off to large warehouses in China for reproduction. This keeps the product exclusive and the quantities low. Taxes in France, for instance, where many luxury brands are designed and produced, are very high. It takes a lot of money to produce these exclusive clothing pieces and ship them throughout Europe or the United States. It's all about the hype. Brands don't mass produce. They'll make 100 garments instead of 1000, which drives both the cost and the retail prices up. Printing small runs of items is more expensive than if you were to bulk manufacture. On the other hand, if it is exclusive and unattainable, it becomes desirable and customers are willing to pay for the product. It's all about the hype. If something's hyped, it doesn't matter what material it's made out of if you want it. Just like Supreme's box logo tees as an example, which despite retailing for less insane prices, resell for up to 500 pounds. It's not the intrinsic value, it's the cultural value created around it but that only exists for a few products at a time. To create hype, you need to limit accessibility. Supreme does it by creating far less product than its customers want. You have to hustle to get your hands on the handful of logo drops each season. Others do it with a price, on Fon Riches to Primes, which defines itself as much as an art project as a brand, sells 1,400 pounds hoodies, specifically to lock out a mass consumer. For others, it's about irony, that Mon's DHL t-shirt remains the high-water mark for expensive jokes designed to appeal to a handful of fashion insiders. Marketing Designer clothing brands throughout the fashion industry spend a lot of money on their marketing, whether it is on social media or in the streets of New York and Paris. Who models Chanel? Or who's the celebrity that flaunts Louis Vuitton on Instagram? These influencers and models aren't just your regular influencers and models. Higher marketing costs with more expensive marketing materials just add to the retail price. These brands know what their customers expect in their advertising, and because the customers expect expensive advertising, they can also expect expensive price tags. That's the business of fashion for you. It is also a strategy to massage the ego of those who can afford it. Back in 2014, Burberry made a shocking announcement that they would be increasing the pricing of their products to make the brand more exclusive. 
This roughly meant that they were trying to move their products out of reach of less desirable, or less rich customers. Initially, we would think that Burberry was trying to attract fewer customers, but in reality, they were creating a status for themselves and exclusivity similar to that which Apple creates for its iPhone. Everyone knows that iPhones flood the market but you're not just buying a smartphone, you're buying a status symbol. The idea behind this is if you could afford to buy Burberry clothing, you're not only wearing a designer label, you're also announcing to the world that you can afford to wear Burberry clothing. Now that's strategic marketing. Because it is. Now of course, one of the most obvious reasons designer clothes are so expensive is because you're paying for the brand name. The fashion industry is all about exclusivity and social status. People wear luxury brands for the quality, but also, because they want others to know they are wearing name brand clothing. If it wasn't about the brand names and labels, prices wouldn't matter, and neither would fashion. Designer clothes are so expensive because if they weren't, they would no longer be designer anymore. They would lose their luxury name. While we do see some brands these days that are breaking the mold and trying to go for the affordable designer brand look, selling subsections of their brands in stores still doesn't stop them from keeping their high price tags for the elite. Exclusivity Speaking again to the exclusivity of the most expensive fashion labels, if it weren't for these high price tags, these luxury brands would be bought by everyone, and they would not be able to keep their high status any longer. These high retail prices keep the items from being obtainable by everyone, and that is the sole purpose of high fashion. Because you would still buy them. Lastly, the main reason designer clothes are so expensive is because designer brands know people will continue to buy clothes for these outrageous prices. If you could sell something for this much and you knew you would make money doing it, then you would do it too. For the same reasons why swimsuits are so expensive, that's just the way the business of fashion works. If people are buying, they will keep selling, it's just as simple as that. Well, there you have it folks. We'll put it simply this way, luxury is something you don't need, it's something you want. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell and we'll see you in the next video. This is your list specialists.